Hi, my name is Rebecca Chandler and I work in the research section of, of the UMC. And I am going to talk about cluster analyses. Is this a new approach to signal detection? So the experience of an adverse drug reaction is a complex phenomenon. Each individual has their own genetic makeup, their medical history, risk factors for disease, and drugs they take. Any ADR they experience may manifest in different ways. In the creation of the individual case safety report, this complex phenomenon is transformed into a collection of analyzable variables. The patient's story is fragmented into ADR terms and drugs using standardized dictionaries. Ed Napke's famous pigeonholes represents one of the earliest forms of signal detection. He sorted ICSRs according to drug and ADR, and he could easily identify combinations to assess by the height of the stack in each of the holes. The most common form of statistical pattern discovery in pharmacovigilance is disproportionality analysis using drug ADR pairs. While incredibly powerful, one might ask, have we oversimplified everything? One pitfall of a reliance on drug ADR pairs is case series jumbling. Here, for example, the ADR term nausea is included on two ICSRs describing two separate clinical syndromes. Another problem is case series fragmentation. Here, the two ICSRs describe the same clinical syndrome, and yet they report different ADR terms. Is there a way we can combine an appreciation for the complexity of reality with the rapid detection of drug safety concerns? Can we improve upon our ability to identify the most relevant case series? Syndromic surveillance was developed for the early detection of a large-scale release of a biological agent, the primary objective being to identify illness clusters early, before diagnoses are confirmed, in order to mobilize a rapid response. Here at the UMC, we have applied the concept of syndromic surveillance to pharmacovigilance. Imagine here the set of all CS ICSRs for a single drug. Let us start by randomly allocating the reports to a number of clusters. Here we can see clusters of blue, red, and green. At this point, we do not expect the reports within each cluster to include similar patterns of ADRs. However, the resultant clusters will have specific ADR profiles. Each bar in the graphs represents a specific ADR term, and the height represents the proportion of reports in the cluster which contain it. After the creation of the initial clusters, we begin an algorithm which reassigns individual reports to those clusters with ADR profiles with which the report is a better match. This algorithm will continue moving reports between clusters until the best possible solution, which from the random initial starting point, is reached. The final solution will consist of numerous clusters, each with unique ADR profiles, which have evolved throughout the ICSR reassignment process. The algorithm is repeated 100 times, each from a random starting point, and multiple solutions are generated. Consensus clustering between the solutions is used to reach the final result. Cluster analysis was applied to the signal of postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome and the HPV vaccine. Were signal assessments of POTS adequate to capture all relevant cases of this highly under-recognized disease? Here we have a closer look at a number of the resultant clusters. First, the one at the top is a case series of allergic type reactions. The second cluster, a case series of expected local injection site reactions. Here is the largest cluster of concern. It is characterized by ADRs of headache, fatigue, and dizziness. And review of the narratives within this case series revealed these symptoms to be long-lasting and have a profound effect on the quality of life. Cluster analysis identified a case series of almost 700 reports 
mostly serious, yet only 10% with a diagnosis of POTS. Many relevant cases would have been excluded by a traditional reliance on drug ADR pairs. Approaches to signal detection have and will continue to advance as databases grow and data science advances. However, intellectual curiosity and the courage to ask questions will forever remain at the heart of pharmacovigilance. <laughs>